and welcome back to a brand new video. So it's something looks like something out of the birds, you know, that's all that bird film. I forgot what it's called now, but you see the, uh, the amount of seedles um, around this area, which is just near the, uh, the North Pier. It looks like someone's feed them. Look at that, the amount of seedles hovering in these uh, gale force winds. You see there's a bit, you know, being fed there, but there's a, uh, look at that. It's like something out of the, uh, is it uh, Hitchcock? Alfred Hitchcock, I believe it is. With the, uh, the seedles. And you can see they're all, uh, all just hovering. Look at that. Wow, and look at that lovely uh, sun in the distance. Like I said, just near uh, North Pier. Just look at the uh, the amount of birds. That's, uh, that's crazy. In amongst all the uh, all the seedles you can see at Blackpool Tower on this uh, very very windy day, and, uh, certainly uh, certainly a sight. Like I said, they're just hovering in the uh, in the wind. Amazing. So yeah, what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a, a bit of a walk along the uh, the promenade, and uh, we just stopped because these, I believe, the Grade Two listed building, and you can see the council have been out. You know, a couple of weeks ago and uh, given a, a fresh coat of paint and they look uh, stunning you can see they're all being uh, lovely painted in that lovely green i believe these are a grade two listed building and they're dotted all the way if you have a look all the way down uh, the north side of blackpool so we just uh, approach the uh, the north pier and uh, this one is uh, closed so it looks like the uh, the amusements are open but the, uh, the bar and lounge looks like it's uh, closed, so whether it opens late evening or is it just the weekends. But yeah, the, uh, the arcades are open, but sadly you can't get onto the pier. Um, so whether they're closed up doing repair work or it opens up a lot later on in the evening, but at present, that one is closed. Uh, just a, a shot of the, uh, the North Pier from the other side and it is very, very windy. You probably hear it on the mic. And uh, it looks like the high tide was about one o'clock. Um, no, so I do apologize. The low tide was one o'clock this afternoon. And the high tide is in about uh, five past, 10 past seven later on. And I uh, imagine the, uh, the sea once again will be uh, crashing against the, uh, the shorelines. But certainly, you know, it's been a, a lovely day, a bit nippy, but very windy, but a lovely day so far. Uh, here comes the uh, the beach patrol doing their, their routine checks. They, uh, they go up and down the, uh, the promenade uh, every day, making sure everyone's uh, okay and uh, safe. And that's the uh, the beach patrol in Blackpool is, uh, with a 4x4. Uh, there's just uh, one brave soul, it looks like, on the uh, on the beach as the, uh, the tide is going to start rolling in. And it looks like he's uh, just having a a bit of a fresh air, and he certainly will get some fresh air this weather. Look at that. So we just reached the uh, the Christmas by the sea, and you can see the old lollipop. Look at that, how bent over that one is. It's like just pointing straight at the tower. Look at that, it's, uh, it's incredible. You see how strong the wind is today. You see the, uh, the Christmas trees has uh, sadly fallen over once again. Yes, yeah, look at that lollipop. Wow, you can see it's right over. So you can see uh, how quiet Blackpool is on a outer season uh, Monday, so late afternoon um, during the day. It's, uh, it's very, very quiet. And uh, you know, the winds and the awful weather doesn't help. You can see how quiet it is. So I've just taken you on the uh, the beach, and just look how remarkable, uh, so sort of flat the uh, the sand is. It's just something very strange. You don't see this every day. You see the beach, but you can just see the sand whipping. Can you see that? 
Hopefully the camera's picking that up. And uh, look at that, that's it's like magical. Look at that. Wow. That's certainly something. It's just that uh, obviously the strong winds and it's sort of taking a dusting off the surface and just sort of whipping it along the ground. That's uh like I say it's like something very uh, very magical. That's amazing. And what a shot that is with the other tower and those uh, fluffy clouds. Look at that. That's uh, certainly a, a sight. What a magnificent view of the, uh, the Christmas market and the uh, tower just situated between those clouds. So we just approached the, uh, the central pier and you can see everything is uh, very, very still, very quiet. And you can see, you know, the uh, all the paintwork certainly needs a, a bit of painting. And the reason, you know, it gets like this is because, you know, there's so much salt air in, you know, in the air. Salt, you know, it just corrodes it. You know, I'd imagine every year they get out, or in the majority of years, get out and paint it. But, you know, with the, uh, the sea, it certainly eats away at the metal. And uh, be a, another job, you know, for, uh, for this season, ready for next. You can just see, you know, above there, you can see it, the sun's just blocking out a little. Yeah, it certainly, uh, certainly eats away at the, uh, the paintwork. And you can see, just have a, a bit of a look at there. You can see one of the boards have been uh, badly damaged. So again, all this uh, repair work, I'd imagine, will be uh, carried out, out of season. How magnificent, you know, does that look? You can see the sun just turns up underneath the pier just going down and uh, you can see the tide is now gently rolling in so I'd imagine it's going to be a bit of a rough one uh, 7.1 meters in a few hours time but how lovely does that look and sometimes you know, a lot of people are caught out with the sea because you think oh you know I've got plenty of time but it you know encircled you it whips around you know before you know it you know you're, you're in a little island by yourself and you start sort of panicking the panic sets in so you always got to make sure you know you have plenty of time to get back but let's just pan the camera around have a quick look at the uh, the beach and the uh, the tower there we go look at the tower there you just see you know i'm going to start making my way back but you can see how quickly the sea gets in because it was just uh, there a few seconds ago and it's already covered so I think we'll uh, start making our way back because the tide like I said can turn very quickly and you can certainly come in so yeah what we'll do we'll have a, a bit of a walk on the uh, along the promenade like I said look at the uh, reflection in the sand with the clouds look at that reflection so I'm not going to keep on the sea I know people love the sea but uh, you know We'll uh, go and have a look for some more. Let's look at that. You see the sea certainly coming in now. So I think it's time to uh, make a very swift departure. And you see all the uh, all the main ones, the happy days and the bubble teas and the arcades, all the uh, the sweet shops, the candy shops, the tower gifts. You can see they're all uh, all closed during the week and uh, I think how everybody's longing for uh, longing for the daffodils and the bluebells to appear right, you see the, uh, the little starlings were just in that bin and I've seen a couple sort of pop in and pop out looking for that, uh, that sort of little bite to eat. And this is quite an interesting one because it's just near the RNLI, which is uh, just located between sort of, uh, North and uh, Central Pier. And right in the middle, which is uh, just here, you can see it's like a whirlpool. It sort of whips around, you see all the, uh, all the rubbish and the leaves and everything gathers 
just, you know, it's all between the, uh, the R and L I and, uh, you know, the wall. It's like a little whirlpool around here. It's certainly all circles. It's a odd phenomenon, if that's the way I pronounce it. But yeah, it's like a, a bit of a whirlpool. And you see, you know, with the R and L I, they even put a, a little dish out for the dog, which is, uh, which is fantastic. Look at that. So they even think about the, uh, the animals at the uh, R and L I. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, bit of a walk around on a very, very quiet Monday. And, uh, you know, it's totally out of season. You know, I just counted the days, like so when the old uh, bluebells and the old daffodils spring into life. You know, the, uh, the nights are gonna be uh, lighter and, uh, you know, there's just more life. You feel more better when the sun's out. So, you know, get through, uh, get through uh, December and January and things will start to change. So we're just at the uh, the Christmas market, so I think we'll just have a, a very brief walk around. You can see the everyone's in uh, good spirits with this one. This will certainly come alive. Every evening you see a lot of people enjoying the uh, the ground coffee, the hot food, and enjoying the rides. So like we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna mention too much about this one. We've done many videos on the uh, the Christmas market, but uh, what a wonderful little uh, little place to come and visit if uh, you haven't already visited it's certainly worth that visit and uh, you can certainly see like I said the, uh, all the attractions all the rides and all the uh, luxurious foods you can think about So we have uh, done a bit of a full circle, like I said, it's a bit of a short video, and we're back where we uh, where we set out. Uh, so I hope you do enjoy. Like I said, the uh, the sea views are amazing, and uh, yeah. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care in the uh, the windy conditions. I know a lot of people have sadly suffered in Wales and Yorkshire, many many other places in the south. So you know, if you have been affected, all the very best. And uh, like I said, you know, take care of yourselves, stay safe. If you haven't already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. It will mean a lot. Hit the like button. Any comments, I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And until next time, take care. And it is, it's a bye from me. Bye-bye.